we are talking about performance appraisal of international employees and in this topic we are going to talk about who are going to be the evaluators who is going to conduct the performance appraisal usually performance appraisal is conducted by the immediate supervisor in traditional performance management settings however the job becomes a little bit complex in the international scenario a wife because of the geographical and uh, physical distances uh, it becomes a problem because the performance of a person who is working in a foreign context cannot be um, cannot be observed by a person who is sitting somewhere in another country in the parent country or in the headquarters uh, so that poses a problem particularly for the subsidiary ceo तो जो सब्सिडरी का सीईओ होता है उसकी जो परफॉर्मेंस है क्योंकि सीईओ इज एट द टॉप ऑफ द सब्सिडरी उस नेशनल बाउंड्री के अंदर तो उससे ऊपर कोई है नहीं सो so, उसकी परफॉर्मेंस जो है वो किसी ने पेरेंट कंट्री हेडक्वार्टर्स में ही एवेल्यूएट करनी है सो so, सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम जो है वो सब्सिडरी सी की परफॉर्मेंस की अप्रेजल के लिए आता है कि उसकी परफॉर्मेंस को तो कोई देख ही नहीं रहा कोई टॉप लेवल मैनेजर उसकी परफॉर्मेंस को नहीं देख रहा है और अगर कोई परफॉर्मेंस को ऑब्जर्व किया जा सकता है तो वो स्टेटिस्टिक्स की बेस पे किया जा सकता है वो डेटा की बेस पे किया जा सकता है वो नंबर्स की बेस पे किया जा सकता है उसके बिहेवियर uh, उसकी इंटरेक्शन uh, उसकी मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स को उसकी कन्विंसिंग स्किल्स को उसकी क्राइसिस मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स को uh, जो है वो एवेल्यूएट नहीं किया जा सकता कोई उसको नहीं देख रहा सो सब्सिडरी सी ओ के परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल किसने करनी है करनी तो वो किसी उसके इमीडिएट uh, सुपरवाइज़र ने है कोई उसके हायर अप ने है लेकिन ये कि उसकी परफॉर्मेंस को कोई देख नहीं रहा uh, उसके अलावा सब्सिडरी मैनेजर्स टेन टू बी अप्रेज फॉर सब्सिडरी परफॉर्मेंस अगेंस्ट हार्ड क्राइटेरिया विच मे लैक ग्लोबल ओरिएंटेशन सो बिकॉज द सब्सिडरी सी ओ एंड सब्सिडरी मैनेजर्स दे देर परफॉर्मेंस इज नॉट बींग ऑब्जर्व बाई बाई अ पर्सन इन सब्जेक्टिव मैनर their performance is evaluated on hard criteria hard criteria could be productivity it could be the return on investment it could be the profit uh, of of the organization it could be the sales made the products uh, developed all these hard criteria but not the soft criteria not the contextual performance and therefore uh, because contextual performance because the soft goals they are very much important particularly to set the global orientation of the organization if that is set aside and not measurable then it is difficult to then uh, pinpoint that whether a subsidiary manager or subsidiary ceo has been able to perform or not then as we discussed in previous topics that the performance of the subsidiary may be may has to be taken as a, as part of a whole uh, the subsidiary is not a part it is part of a whole so uh, sometimes what happens is that some subsidiaries they are strategically placed and they have to remain uh, in a uh, in a background they have they they are less performers just to make the strategic position of the multinational a uh, more global in the entire global scenario we discussed that in a uh, in a particular top uh, in in a previous topic so um, if if uh, that particular subsidiary unit is placed strategically and uh, um, it, it is okay for that subsidiary unit to be performing lesser uh, than required or lesser than the standards uh, then that also has to be taken into account uh, that the global orientation uh of that particular subsidiary is for some other strategic requirement uh then appraisal of other employees that are working in that subsidiary is conducted by the subsidiary ceo or the immediate supervisor subsidiary supervisor so uh, whether it is the uh, uh the home country nationals or it is the uh, parent country nationals or third country nationals who are working are are working in that multinational company their performance is going to be appraised is going to be evaluated by the immediate supervisor or the subsidiary ceo but there comes a little bit of complication in expatriate performance appraisal 
एक्सपेट्रिएट्स हु आर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ अ पर्सन इज़ वर्किंग एट फाइनेंस हेड लेवल जिसके ऊपर एक उसका सब्सिडरी मैनेजर है सब्सिडरी सी ई ओ है हु इज़ हु नॉट ए पेरेंट कंट्री नेशनल हु इज़ अ नो होस्ट कंट्री नेशनल सो इफ दैट पर्सन हु इज़ वर्किंग एट अ लोअर लेवल एंड इज़ एन एक्सपेट्रिएट इट इज़ पॉसिबल दैट द पर्सन वुड लाइक टू बी इवेल्युएटेड by his own country managers so he may want to be evaluated by headquarter managers rather than the one who is immediately above that person so um the performance uh, expatriate performance appraisal uh, can be conducted by the host country managers and it can also be conducted by parent country evaluators because uh, people who are working in that expatriate position they think that uh, the expatriate assignment is part of their career development process and their career is not limited to that subsidiary for example agar koi uk se pakistan mein kaam karne ke liye aaya hai to uski performance pakistan ke context mein sirf measure karna zaruri nahi hai uski ye understanding hogi ki uski performance ko uk ke nationals hi measure kare taaki uski jo career development hai as a uh, as an international manager as a person who has worked in a global context that should be evaluated from the uk perspective not from the pakistani perspective so sometimes some uh, people who, they 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 expect that their performance will be the some expatriates they expect that their performance is going to be measured not by the immediate uh, supervisor but by somebody who is from the parent country uh, evaluation team so for that uh, a uh, uh, complication for that complexity uh the um the process of multiple evaluation has uh, emerged um that has also emerged as a, a tool of performance management in the journal human resource literature but it becomes even more uh, um, applicable in the international human resource management process because it is better to evaluate the performance of a subsidiary manager from multiple evaluators so you are very much you would be very much conversant with the uh, name of 360 degree feedback and 360 degree feedbacks mean feedback from various different angles not just from the immediate supervisor so 360 feedback in the international context it involves the feedback from the immediate supervisor then the rating of the person or expatriate himself or herself and then the human resource manager whether that hr manager is uh, working in the subsidiary country or the hr manager is working in the headquarters the hr manager would be involved in evaluating the performance of that person so in usually 360 feedback involves these three people evaluating the performance of an expatriate and survey has found that 81% of the us firms which were evaluated in that particular survey they used more than one evaluator to evaluate the performance of an expatriate so it is something which is also in practice and not just theoretical uh, so this was the discussion about how uh who is going to be evaluating and conducting the performance appraisal of employees working in an international context